something a little different here. Looking into a bit of audio and deciding to you know, do a bit of DIY with that, as well as you know buy some pieces to upgrade some of the I suppose the audio stack or the audio chain. So I got myself a topping. What's the E50 in black? That's the box. Pretty plain, really. Look what's in here. So one little manual, which I can look at in a sec. Warranty card, selection of cables, Ooh, remote. And obviously the deck. Remote. Yeah. yeah. Fortunately, it takes triple A's. Hate those things. But I suppose if you want to make it small, then triple A's are the only thing that will fit. Okay, that's just a standard USB cable. And the other one is power. Barrel connect on the one side and well USB on the other side. And of course the deck. Look front one switch more one button there I should say. Um, Again, a label. Oh, here we go. I suppose that's what the USB is for. Uh, the data one. Get the signal in, so USB in, optical in, coax in. Yep. And these are outputs, balanced outputs, and I suppose single ended outputs, which would be the RCA. There you go. So, yeah, what's missing? Well, what's not in the box, I suppose, is a power supply. And actually, been reading what the designer says, and he reckons a mobile phone charger. So, because it takes five volts. Let's plug it in and find out. So we get a little red light on it. Hmm. See if we can turn it on from here. Oh yes, we can turn it on without the remote. Starts with minus 30 dB. I suppose that's useful if you have it powered off and your amplifier is set to maximum power, your speakers can't handle it, and somebody turns this on. And it was to set to maximum, you could blow something up. So that's a good safe setting. Because I don't have coax or optical, I will be using the USB input. Cool, but that's that's what you get. The remote. Look at the scale. So, just thirty centimeter ruler. It's about twelve inches. So you can see that's that. To me, that's about one thirty. I know it looks like it's overlapping, but this is a uh, camphored here. And then length one fifty, but with the connectors sticking out the back, it's more like one fifty five. 
Thickness about 35, I'd say more like 36, 37. And then with the feet, it's going to sit up a little over four centimeters. There's the foot hiding in the background there. So yeah, it's a, it's a very small device. My hands are not that big. But yeah, plug it in and give it a go. And maybe just a quick note, uh, there's my fingerprints on it. Seems like it's a metal case. So some, I don't know if this is silicon rubber, but it's, it's quite a nice high grade rubber. I think these are hex. Just to give you an idea of the uh, screws. Oh, and the build quality seems pretty good. Paint, 